Christine, when I laugh really hard and if I'm sitting down, I get up and I like run away because I'm laughing so hard. It's oh, too yeah. much. I love that kind of laugh. That's like that, that Apollo laughter. Because you know how like black people like at the Apollo, if they're laughing really hard, they're like freaking out. Yes. And like getting out of their seat and just like waving and, towels and shit. And, like, yeah, the whole. And like hitting each other. And yeah. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like when we think something's funny, we think it's really fucking funny. Yeah. And when you don't think it's funny, oh, you man. really don't think it's yeah. funny. Yeah, that's what I learned during those rooms. <laughs> Black crowd's going to have fun with or without you, so you, you better... Yeah, basically. Yeah, they're either going to laugh with you or there's, there's they're going to no, laugh at you. There's no pity laughter. There's no pity oh. applause. No, we don't do that. Oh. <laughs> you better oh, be Jesus. funny. <laughs> oh, some of the fucking heckles I got in those rooms. <laughs> the worst is when they would just be talking to each other about how not funny you were. <laughs> I never forget just on stage, just bombing. <laughs> and it was just dead silence. And I just heard this woman in the middle of the crowd. She just goes, she just looked around at everybody. She just goes, I ain't laughed yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, oh my God. Oh, oh God. Oh, and there was God, no, there was no. Was, oh God, I love black audiences. There was, was no. so much fun. Because yeah, there's no politeness. Yeah, if you're in the crowd. If, if you're, you're in, in the, the crowd. No, of course. Yes. If I was on stage. <laughs> on stage. It would be so rough. But it's so enjoyable <laughs> to be a part of it. Because nobody cares about your feelings. Oh, not at all. Not even, <laughs> not even fucking remotely. <laughs> Whenever I did a black show, I ain't laughed yet. No, just so like <laughs> That's hilarious. She but was terrible for you. Dead. Sorry. No, she was right though. <laughs> <laughs> um, whenever I did those shows, yeah, I always felt like in the end, I, whenever I did uh, the uptown rooms, as they call it, you'd get off stage and you you ask yourself one of two questions: one, why am I not world famous yet? Or two, what the fuck did I ever? <laughs> why the fuck did I ever think I should ever even be in this business? Because it went one way or the other. You either right. murdered, yeah, or you wanted to crawl out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Talent used to have this room, Labar Bat, mm-hmm. on the fucking Upper West Side. It was after work, uh, black crowd, and and it was. Every other fucking time. Every other time I killed, every other time I fucking ate it. And oh man, I, I saw them fucking uh Jimmy Mac, Uncle Jimmy Mac, rest his soul. Yeah, yeah. Um I saw him one time. He was having a tough he was having a tough set. I think I bombed. It was just one of those fucking crowds that just weren't laughing that week. Every other week they'd laugh, every other week they weren't, and he was having a tough set. And I just remember he he was bombing so bad and this woman was heckling him so bad he had to bring up his career. He started talking about his IMDb. Yeah, I've done, and he goes, uh, he brought up how he did Comic View or something like that. And like, he goes, I don't give a shit. He's like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. You don't think I'm funny. You know, I got a career. And she just went like, uh, I, I can't remember how she said. She said, N-word, what career? And then just <laughs> dressed him down. I remember I had to go on after it. And like, oh, Jimmy was the Lord. man, right? He was the fucking man. And I'm just like, this guy's got 10 years on me. If he can't handle this fucking crowd... What's going to happen to me? And they would just, like, he got off, and then I went up, Talent went up, and Talent had this this tag uh, where he would, the worst tag that Talent could say after you set was, was when he would go up, he'd be like, come on, y'all, comedy ain't easy. When he said that, you were the guy who bombed, was just like, oh, fuck, right? <laughs> so uh, he, he already did for Jimmy. Come on, y'all. Comedy ain't easy, right? The only time I ever saw him have to do it for Jimmy because uh, he always killed. And then he brought me up that, oh, God. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought about that fucking show for like a month. I would just think of, of the shit that people said to me. I'd be in the shower yeah. thinking of it and just it would pop into my head and I'd do that thing, ah, like trying to shout it out of but my here's head. Here's the thing, though, Bill, because you always talk about how heckling like is a part of stand up comedy, right? But Absolutely, like, it is. But the thing is, though, I don't know. Maybe I just don't get it, but I, I just feel like you don't do that. You don't fucking heckle. You let people go up and do their thing and then, like, that's it. Like you don't heckle people at a play. You don't. Ha- well, I guess people do heckle people at concerts and shit like that, sort of. But for the most part, you don't. Why is it that stand up 
That's what makes stand up awesome. It creates this environment where people really feel like they need to interact with you to that level. Because you're, like, what cause you're standing that? there and you're, you're, you're not giving a speech, you're talking to them. Okay. So, like, I think it's that. Like, do bands get heckled and all that? Yeah, I love I hecklers. I that that to me, like. But you're not. But you don't want to encourage people to be heckling to a point of disruption. No, no, like not not to that level, but like. Like those, those, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, I always thought it was, it was the most terrifying thing when I started out. Like, what am I going to do? Cause you knew it was going to happen. Mm-hmm. What am I going to do when I get heckled? Mm-hmm. What am I going to say? Mm-hmm. And blah, 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 blah. Like what the fuck is going to happen? And, um, and, but watching seasoned vets handling it, handling hecklers was, uh, was like this art form. It was an art form within the art form. Mm-hmm. So, and you're really you're really good at handling hecklers. But I can see why some stand ups wouldn't would want those people tossed from the the place because they're disrupting the shit. And what you're gonna spend? Yeah, but that's, hour that's but it's that always been that way. Material that you're working on so hard. Richard on Pryor got to heckled, have it fucked up by somebody in the Richard crowd. Richard Pryor got heckled in his own stand up special. Okay, if he didn't whine about it, like I don't think anybody else should be. Yeah. Okay, if if the crowd's gonna heckle him, like what are you what are you fucking special? Like I, I look, every every comedian can run their shit the way that they want to run their shit. But like I look at it like I say a lot of fucked up things mm-hmm. on stage that are gonna make you know, I always fucking give women shit and like do, yeah. are they really supposed to just sit there and not say anything <laughs> you know when i go down south i'm always talking you know, i'm always fucking around going you know when you guys came here you took a shit in your outhouse and you came down here at some point somebody's oh, gonna oh, somebody's gonna so like, obnoxious yeah like you like you definitely like to push people's buttons that way that's for sure yeah because it's well, that's what people did you're a provocateur. No, I'm not. It's just, it's breaking balls and then they bust your balls back and then it's funny. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I guess I understand that. I don't know. I, I, I don't, I, I, I do get annoyed when uh, some people, like, they'll say, like, do they heckle at a Broadway play? It's like, dude, you're not doing, this isn't Broadway. <laughs> that's right, the way I look at it. All right, twinkle it. toes, no, go fucking way, put on your tap shoes and, and, and a cat suit. That's go the do, way I look at it, though. You wouldn't, you wouldn't heckle a Broadway show. Why are you heckling a comedian? But you, you don't go to a Broadway a show way. and somebody go, hey, look at this fucking jerk off. What do you do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, they don't do that either, right? <laughs> How long um, is this podcast? I don't want to be torturing people with... Oh, who gives a shit at this point? I got to read I the rest that. of these things. All right. Uh, 